All right, there are 118 elements on the periodic table of elements, and I'm gonna teach you how you could memorize these in literally just a few hours. Here we go. Hi, my name is Ron White. I'm a two-time USA Memory Champion. I used to hold the record for the fastest to memorize a deck of cards in the United States, and I also held the record for the longest number ever memorized in the United States at 167 digits in five minutes. Now, the techniques that I use to memorize a deck of cards or that number are the same techniques that you can use to memorize the periodic table of elements in literally just a few hours. The first step to memorizing the periodic table of elements is creating pictures for the elements. Your mind remembers pictures more than it remembers just a word that it hears. For example, you always will say to somebody, I am so good with faces, I never forget a face, I just can't think of your name. And the reason for this is, is you saw the face. The face was a picture. You only heard the name, so you didn't remember it. Well, if you only hear the words hydrogen, helium, nitrogen, oxygen, carbon, and you don't see them as a picture, the odds of you remembering them are significantly decreased. So, step number one, turn the elements into pictures. Let me do a few for you. Hydrogen. Maybe you see somebody waving hi. Hello. Hi high for hydrogen. The next one, helium. For this one, you could just see a balloon, a big old helium balloon floating up, and that reminds you of helium. The next one, lithium. For lithium, maybe you imagine a battery, because there are lithium batteries. Beryllium. Beryllium, for this, I would use a bear, a big old grizzly bear, and that would remind me of beryllium. For boron, I would imagine a board, like a piece of wood, and I was putting it on something. Bore on, board on. For carbon, I might imagine I'm driving a car. Nitrogen, I would imagine a knight, like Sir Lancelot. Nitrogen, I would imagine a knight. Oxygen, maybe you imagine an oxygen mask to remind you of oxygen. Last example, fluorine. I would imagine fluorine, like carpet or tile, fluorine, for fluorine. So the first step was to turn what you want to remember into a picture. The next step is to create a place to store this information. I use a technique known as the mind palace or the memory palace. It's written about in Sherlock Holmes books. And here's the idea of the mind palace. You memorize a map of your house. And you already have your house memorized. So really what I'm asking you to do is number pieces of furniture in your house. This is how you do it. Stand in the doorway of every room in your house and number five pieces of furniture. One, two, three, four, five. Go to the next room. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Number five pieces of furniture in each room of your house. Number things like desks, beds, TVs, refrigerators, stoves, microwaves, books, lamps, big items, not small items. Spread them out around the room five in each room, and when you do this, you are constructing a mind palace. Okay, now after you have your mind palace constructed and pictures for the elements, you just start tying those pictures to the pieces of furniture. So, on the first piece of furniture in your room, number one, you might imagine somebody's waving and they're saying hi, and as they're waving to you, a balloon floats up and a lithium battery is attached to it. And that reminds you of the three elements, the first three, hydrogen, helium, and lithium. Now on the next piece of furniture, you would put the next three elements on that piece of furniture. Those three elements are beryllium, boron, and carbon. So you might see a bear, and he is setting a board on a car. A bear, rawr, setting a board on a car. That picture reminds you of beryllium, boron, and carbon. Let's do one more. Nitrogen, oxygen, and fluorine are the next three elements. So on the third piece of furniture in that room, you might see a knight, and this knight is wearing an oxygen mask, and he's walking on fluorine. Fluorine, like carpet or tile. A knight with an oxygen mask walking on flooring. That reminds you of nitrogen, 
oxygen, and fluorine. So there are 118 elements on the periodic table of elements. If you store three elements per piece of furniture, you're only going to need about 40 pieces of furniture to memorize the entire periodic table of elements. We just did the first nine for you just like that. So you see how quick and easy this can go. So here's a tip for you. Maybe you not only want to remember the elements, but you want to remember the symbols and the atomic weight along with the element. In that scenario, I would suggest you use 118 pieces of furniture because on each piece of furniture, you would not only be storing the pitcher, a knight for nitrogen, but you would also need a pitcher to represent the symbol and a pitcher to represent the atomic weight. So that's three pitchers already for that one element. So you'd probably need 118 pieces of furniture in that scenario. Now finally, the last tip for the periodic table of elements. If you want to memorize it in order, I just showed you how to do that. But maybe you want to memorize it by groups. You want to know which ones are the noble gases, which ones are the halogens, which one are the alkali metals. In that scenario, you would put all the noble gases in one room or a series of rooms. You would put all the halogens in one room or a series of rooms. And you would put all the alkali metals in one room or a series of rooms. And then when you're recalling this, whether it's in a test or whenever, and someone says, what are the noble gases? All you have to do is jump back to that specific room and you will be able to list out the noble gases. So guys, this is how you memorize the periodic table of of elements. It's using a technique called the memory palace or the mind palace. And if you know me, you know it's by far my favorite memory training technique. Building a mind palace will really catapult your memory to the next level, but you have to do it the right way. And there are some common pitfalls that you need to avoid. To learn how to build the mind palace the right way, click the link right here or click the link above. Hey guys, thanks for watching. We have got a ton of new videos coming out and you're not going to want to miss any of them. So click the subscribe button right here so you don't miss any of them and don't forget to get your free training right here. Let's try it.